Archaeologists have described the discovery of an incredibly rare wrought iron anchor thought to be up 2,000 years old is going on display for one day after being found at an offshore wind farm. The anchor, believed to be Roman or Late Iron Age, was found off the Suffolk coast in 2018 during survey work on the East Anglia 1 wind farm. It will be on show for the first time at Ipswich Museum before being moved for further analysis work. It's hoped that it could provide material evidence of ancient Roman seafaring and trading in the southern North Sea. Measuring at more than 2 meters long and weighing around 100 kilograms, the anchor is estimated to have come from a 500 to 600 tons vessel. If dated to the time of the Roman occupation of Britain, it's most likely to have come from one of the larger merchant ships of the Roman fleet. Everything points to this being a Roman anchor of almost 2,000 years old, if this is confirmed it would be hard to overstate its significance, said Brandon Mason from Maritime Archaeology Limited. We only know about three pre-Viking anchors from northern European waters outside the Mediterranean region, and only two actually survived. We believe this find could be the oldest and one of the largest surviving examples, giving us hard evidence of the incredible amount of activity that must have been going on in the waters in Roman times, but that we know relatively little about. After its discovery, the anchor was protected by an exclusion zone installed on the seabed during construction work on the wind turbines. Once the analysis and conservation's works are complete, the anchor will go on permanent display in conjunction with Colchester and Ipswich museums. The Imperial Roman period lasted from about 27 BC to the late 3rd and 4th century when the empire expanded, especially to the west. In 54-55 BC Julius Caesar tried to invade Britain, but failed, and then in AD 43 the Roman army landed in Kent and began to conquer what is now England and Wales. The anchor was first discovered in 2018 thanks to marine seabed survey works being undertaken by Scottish Power Renewables prior to the construction of its East Anglia 1 offshore wind farm, located around 40 kilometres off the coast of Suffolk. Scottish Power Renewables, which built the wind farm, said it made other finds during the work including a missing German submarine from World War I and an ancient wild cattle skull, which has been radiocarbon dated to more than 6,000 years old. The anchor is the latest in a series of important historical and archaeological finds during the work on the award-winning East Anglia 1 wind farm. Image Credit, Scottish Power